The victim, Betty Katshav, is believed to have secured a car on loan from now detained Pine Car Bond boss Muhammad Sebufu. But the two individuals had a fallout after the deceased failed to pay the remaining 9 million shillings she owed. According to police reports, the late Betty Katshav was bundled up by a group of unknown men and fell into Pine Car Bond premises where she was tortured and lynched on the orders of Muhammad Sebufu. However, in a rather somber and conciliatory mood, the various car dealers under their umbrella organization, the Kampala Car Dealers Association, convened at the Pine Car Bond premises, where the victim breathed her last to offer their condolences to the family of the deceased. <laughs> While commenting on the controversial incident, various car dealers singled out the laxity of the committee in handling and regulating the activities of the area pine car bond boss Muhammad Sebufu, a trend that led to a life of being lost. <laughs> One car dealer only identified as Kalim also expressed his disappointment over the way the committee for car dealers executes its work, especially when it comes to issues of grave impotence. He blamed some of the executives of the committee of failing to notify the authorities after discovering that the suspected murderer Muhammad Sebuf was keeping the woman captive at the pine carbon premises. However, Kalimu's comments were not taken lightly and he was there after thrown out of the meeting by security personnel manning the pine carbon premises. <laughs> The chairman of the Kampala Car Dealers Association, Mustafa Semuninde, further pointed out that the suspect's murderer, Muhammad Sebufu, will face the wrath of the judicial system as an individual but called upon the rest of the car dealers to stop spreading rumors as they also encounter the same challenges. <laughs> In carbon, boss Muhammad Sebufu was arrested last Thursday evening following reports that a woman was tortured and murdered from the pine carbon premises. The now deceased Kampala businesswoman Betty Katushabe was killed by Sebufu's guns after failing to meet the deadline, paying the remaining 9 million shillings balance for Toyota Primo vehicle, plate number UAP 155T. Davis Ahewe, WBS TV.